Mr. Barber B. Cake, you're here at this big event. What's it not, what's it like being here? Legends of Wrestling Night at Marlins Park. Hey, this is a beautiful park. Marlins Park. You know, we're great. We're happy to be here. We've done a lot of events. This is the first one in Miami. So I'm very excited to be here for the Marlins. And I yeah. just want to have a great time. And, uh, we hope we have a good crowd. What's it like reuniting with some of the guys that you're reuniting with, like Greg the Hammer Valentine of the Dream Team and the Nasty Boys, Jimmy Hart, all these guys? Well, we all live in the same area, so a lot of these guys I've been uh, with quite a bit. With some of the guys I haven't seen in a long time, uh, Goldberg and Brett, and we don't get to see each other that much. And it's always a great pleasure to be here. Best friends that we have lived and traveled on the road uh, most of our lives. You know, I'm in the uh, 37 years now in the wrestling business. So, you know, like Coco and I uh, met Coco Beware in 1978 for the first time with Jimmy Hart. Uh, and, you know, so we, we've been friends all this time. So, so we we all go back a long way. So it's a great it's great to, to reunite with all your old friends and to be able to hang out here and have a great night. In my I gotta ask you, who does the barber beefcake? What a persona, what a character. How did that come up? Was that something you thought of? Was that something Vince McMahon thought of? How the heck did you come up with a barber thing? Beefcake just kind of got born out of a. Uh, out of uh, Nobody really thought it up. Vince McMahon uh, gave Ed Leslie an opportunity. And uh, Hulk Hogan and I were who up and started together and, and he was there and he he, he kind of helped the thing and we thought of the name uh, uh, Vince's wife thought of the name Beefcake she wanted that so we uh, came up with Brutus Beefcake and I was an uh, adventurer started out like a male stripper thing whatever and then eventually the, the, the barber thing got tacked on a few years later and, and it just it grew and went, it went out of control it went crazy you know, it's just my personality, uh, a guy who never thought he'd be in the wrestling business, got plugged in and, and, and it just took off and, and we caught fire. And it's been a wildfire ever since. Brutus, you say that that wasn't your thing, you weren't going to get in the wrestling business. Was it through Hulk, your friend, get involved that then you decided, he, he oh, I'll get involved. involved. I never thought I'd really be a wrestler or anything. I used to watch wrestling as a kid. As he did, we were both fans as kids, and, um, and it just it was something. I guess it was in my personality that was that was always there, but it just took uh, the right uh, coaxing to come out, you know. And then, you know, in acting, I've been in uh, ten movies, and television series with Hulk, and, uh, and, and multiple uh, as a stuntman and an actor in the past 25 years, and, and done a lot of stuff. Where did you get the hedge clippers, the scissors? Well, that was actually my idea. You know, when I came out, they gave me a pair of scissors. I came out, Bruce BK walked out in front of the crowd with 35,000 people, and I went, wait a minute, this is about visual. And 35,000 people, they can't see you know, my, my, my hand here with a thing. So I thought, we gotta get bigger. And I, I thought of getting the hedge clippers and take something that people can really see. And I came out, I taped the handles up, they looked like a barbershop pole. And when I came out the first time with them, the people went crazy and then and, and WWE was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. We're gonna run with it. And, and it's been ever since. What was it like teaming with Greg and Hammer Valentine? That was an incredible tag team, the dream team. We were the most unlikely team ever. They thought, you know, these two guys, totally misfits, totally different, but sometimes opposites attract everything, you know, everything worked out great. His style, my style, chilled together. We were one of the greatest tag teams that the WWF has ever had. And, and uh, you know, Greg and I live in the same area. We, we still work together on a regular basis. And it's, it's so ongoing. What do you think of the wrestling business today and just what it's become? It's just become this international, global, mainstream well, it's, it's phenomenon. It's huge. I mean, we were international uh, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And, um, I mean, I think the business has changed and as things change over the years. And then our business has changed. I'm not sure how much has changed for the better or the worse, whatever. A lot of people like the older stuff better. And from, from, from my experiences, that a lot of people are, these days aren't happy with what the way the business is going. But that's the nature of change, and then business changes. And I just hope that, and, and that, uh, and 
the future will keep wrestling in people's hearts and minds and we will still be able to go on into the future and, and make a living and, and, and be popular with the people. Thank you, Brutus Barber Beefcake.